If you're heading out to BC's backcountry, better brace for tricky snowpack. Right now, there's a tricky snowpack in a lot of areas, and it has to do with the prolonged periods of cold weather we had at the start of the winter, then followed by a bunch of storms over the holiday period. Where we're worried about people triggering large avalanches. That's the message from the experts at Avalanche Canada, especially for people in the Columbia Mountains, Interior Mountain Ranges, and the Rocky Mountains. And we're concerned that this is a kind of avalanche problem that doesn't have obvious clues when you're heading out, and you can get caught by surprise if you're in more high-consequence terrain. The last kind of surprise you want when you're out here. Through most of the interior ranges, we're seeing a very weak snowpack structure, and people are triggering large avalanches on them. The south coast has its own troubles. It started off quite cold and below average in terms of snowpack, so it created a weak structure similar to the interior. But now as we've had warmer, more typical coastal storms, we're seeing a lot of the coastal regions return to a more typical coastal snowpack. That being said, there are some areas of concern on the coast in around Pemberton, the Duffy, and more northern inland parts of the region. Avalanche risk is busiest from December to March. So far this season, there have been zero fatalities. The 10-year average for avalanche fatalities is 10 per season, and thankfully we haven't had any yet this year in BC, or in Canada for that matter. Incidents have happened this season where people survived. We are getting reports that this snowpack is easy to trigger large avalanches in, at least in these areas of concern. Anyone daring enough to head out to the backcountry must have the training and equipment to manage their own avalanche safety. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.